Hi, I'm Lindsay Keeley with Positive Choices, and I am the author and illustrator of Bear's Amazing Brain. Today, we're going to be reading out of Bear's Amazing Brain Home Edition. We'll be reading chapter nine, which is all about problem solving. In this chapter, you'll get to meet Pug and his family as he teaches them about their problem solving powers. You can learn about these two and use them so that you can make this world a kinder and better place. Let's get started. Positive Choices is a social and emotional learning curriculum for families and for schools. It uses the latest brain research to teach important social skills so families and schools can thrive. Welcome and thank you for joining us. All right, let's get started with reading chapter nine and learning all about Pug and his sister. Chapter nine, Pug helps his sister solve a problem. One day after school, Pug's sister started to read her new book. Ever since she practiced being persistent, reading had become easier and more enjoyable. So this is Pug, he comes into the room with his boom box or his music player. And this is what his sister says. Turn that music off. Oh, but this is my favorite song, Pug said. Can't you see I'm trying to read? It's like you don't even care. Does your brain feel mixed up? And you can see in Pug's thought bubble, he sees a picture of his sister in the glitter brain frame like we've talked about before. It looks all mixed up because that's what he thinks maybe her brain feels like. Yes, it does. I feel really frustrated because I can't read when you're playing music. <sighs> This is what Pug says back to his sister. That makes sense. Let's take some deep breaths. Do you want to learn about problem solving powers? Did you know your brain is like a superhero? It has the power to solve all kinds of problems. At school, we call this problem solving power. Tell me more. Let's read this poster together, said Pug. Problem means something went wrong, or there is something that can be done differently. There was a problem when Bear kicked Mouse at recess. Solve means to fix the problem or find a way to do something differently. Bear solved the problem by helping Mouse up and saying sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you for saying that. I forgive you. That's what Mouse said. Now on this page, you can see that there are gestures or special ways to move your body to show how to gesture or sign the word problem and the word solve. Let's practice that now. Okay, here is the gesture for problem. You're going to put your elbows out as if your hands are resting on a table. Then curve your pointer and middle fingers towards your body like this. Alternate moving your hands up and down to show friction say problem. Now here's the gesture for solution or solve. With your elbows up, have your thumb, pointer, and middle fingers touch. Next, slowly pull your hands apart to show that you're smoothing out the problem. Say solve. Okay, now put it together. Problem, solve. You've got it. Problem solving powers are strategies you can use to solve problems. They give you the power to solve problems in positive ways. There are gestures too. As you can see on this page, there's a little icon that says that there is a video that has ways that you can practice these problem solving gestures. This video comes with the curriculum. Here is a close up of Pug holding the problem solving powers poster. There's breathe power, brain break power, take turns power, Share power, ignore power, please stop power, walk away power, talk it out power. In that picture, Mouse is saying, I feel, say sorry power, there Bear is saying he's sorry to Mouse. Problem solve power, that's a picture of Bear with a problem solving reflection page, which we'll look at later. And finally, ask for help power. Here is something else you can use. A problem solving reflection helps you think about a problem, find a way to solve it, and make a plan for next time. I wanna try, says Sister Pug. Here are the steps. 
problem solving reflection steps. On this poster, it's numbered and it has pictures of Bear doing different steps to solve a problem. Let's read the steps. Number one, breathe. Number two, if your brain is in control, think about the problem. If your brain is not in control, take a brain break and try later. Number three, reflect on what happened. Write, draw, and or talk about the problem and ways to solve it. And finally, number four, make a plan for next time. Solve the problem and repair with others. And there's Bear saying, I'm sorry to Mouse. Step three is to reflect on the problem. Reflect means to think back on something. To do this, you think about how you were feeling and what you were thinking, said Pug. Sister thought for a minute. Then she wrote and drew on the page. Where it says, how are you feeling? She circled the mad, angry, and frustrated face. In her thought bubble, where it shows what she was thinking, it says, I want to read my book because my brain needs practice reading. Pug's music makes it hard to focus. Now, think about what happened, said Pug. When you didn't turn the music off, I felt really mad and yelled, Sister explained. It sounds like your brain was not in control of your strong emotions, said Pug. Sister nodded and circled someone wasn't being kind. Next, she wrote an S for Sister and a P for Pug. At the bottom of the page, you can see the picture that she drew of what happened. What positive choice can you make next time? asked Pug. Hmm, I can be kind to you even when I feel mad, said Sister, as she circled the picture. Which problem-solving powers can you use? asked Pug. I can use breathe power and talk it out power, said Sister. And I can ask you if we can take turns. For example, you can read for 30 minutes, and then I can listen to music for 30 minutes, added Pug. Step four is to solve the problem and repair. Repair means to make things better, explained Pug. I want to apologize, said Sister. I'm sorry for yelling at you and saying that you don't care. Next time, I will breathe and talk to you kindly. I forgive you, Sister. Next time, I will ask if we can take turns. Let's have a redo. A redo is when you do something over again, but this time you make a positive choice and use a problem-solving power, explained Pug. Okay, this is the redo. Can you please turn the music off? The music makes it difficult for me to read. Okay, can we take turns? You read for 30 minutes without music, and then we listen to music for 30 minutes? Sounds good, said Sister. Look, Mom, we used problem-solving powers to solve a problem. Wow, can you teach me after dinner? At the end of each chapter in the book, there's a review page. For Chapter 9 review, it says, When you reflect on a problem, make sure your brain is calm and in control. Next, when was the time you had a problem? What happened? And finally, what problem-solving powers do you want to practice? If you're watching this at home right now, you can find someone around you and maybe talk about those last two questions with them. Or if you're at school, maybe you can turn and ask these questions and share your answers with a partner. Finally, at the end of each chapter is an activity page. And for chapter nine, the activity is to build problem solving skills using the problem solving reflection form. In our next video, we'll take a closer look at the problem solving reflection activity as well as go through some examples. For now, let's take a look again at the problem solving powers poster so you can pick a power or two to practice. Here are the problem solving powers close up. As you can see, there's some powers that Pug favors since he's featured in them. There's breathe power, brain break power, take turns power, share power, ignore power, telling someone to please stop power, walking away power, talk it out power, say sorry power, problem solve power, and ask for help power. Now, take a moment and think about what problem solving power you want to practice. You can talk to someone about the powers you want to practice, or you could do this activity to draw or write about them. And remember, 
Just like any superhero that has amazing powers, your brain has the power to solve big problems and to make this world a better and kinder place. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.